Soapy, a homeless, fatuously impudent and insular denizen, was cognizant that winter was approaching. He had come up with a plan to secure a place to stay during the cold months. All he needed to do was get arrested and sent to Blackwell Island's prison for three months. Then he'd be set. Soapy's first stop is a fancy restaurant, which he plans to dine and dash in. However, as soon as he walks in, the restaurant's security turns him out and pushes him back on the street. Soapy then goes to a casual diner with the same intentions. This time, he was let in and finished his meal. But when he tells the waiter he doesn't have any money for his meal, the waiter instructed one of his minions to throw him out onto the street. Next, Soapy went to harass a random young woman. His plan fails once again when he realizes that she is an escort. Soapy decides next to cause a ruckus and act like he is intoxicated. The cop's reaction was a surprising one though. He just assumed that Soapy was a frat boy and decided to leave him be. Soapy sees an unattended umbrella leaning against a newspaper stand while its owner was purchasing the daily news. He went and grabbed it, prompting the man to call the authorities. The man backs off, however, telling Soapy that he had found it in the restaurant that morning. Soapy, despondent, walks by a church and hears the lovely anthem emanating from within. He recognized the soporific tune from his childhood, back when he had friends, family, and a good life ahead of him. In that moment, he decided that he would turn his life around, get a job, and change for the better. During this moment of revelation, however, a suspicious cop accosted Soapy, accusing him of being up to no good. Soapy began to argue in his defense, but the cop didn't care. He arrested Soapy and charged him with three months in jail on the island. Choo-choo. <laughs>